A lot of new information just came out within the last hour at a news conference. That's where we find News Channel 3's Dan Griffin with the very latest on some more specifics of tonight's efforts. Yeah, Amanda, we are here at Johnson Central High School here in Johnson County. Behind me right now, you can see a lot of supplies already stacking up here at the high school. This is the same high school where we had that press conference just a short while ago where we learned now two people have been confirmed dead, 15 taken for medical attention, six unaccounted for at this point. Kentucky State Police say that as the evening goes on, they're understanding that the contact situation here is growing even more intense as they try to get in touch with people and other people try to get in in touch with their family members uh, as we're hearing here that that latest woman found on the uh, along 172 there she was linked to a case that uh, they had already been working now Kentucky's EMA estimates about 500 homes are in the affected area about 1200 people affected by all of this uh, 60 homes along 172 have been destroyed from what they say now Kentucky State Police says the water has receded and has it has receded people here are assessing the damage close to their homes taking a look at so much of that damage there. They've, there have been cars that have been flipped on their sides, homes that have been ripped. Some homes, we even saw a two story home pushed into a tree. Uh, you know, the, the situation here is just unbelievable. We also saw helicopters uh, surveying the area around the, uh, the damage spots on 172. But one person that we met as we were looking at the damage was a family member of Herbert, Eddie May. And he says this whole situation is just totally and completely devastating. Well, we've lost a family member. You know, that's the worst thing that could ever happen. Material things, dad stuff, trailers, all the neighbors and stuff, you know. Material things can be replaced, but a family member can't, you know. Now, as we mentioned, there are a lot of supplies gathering here. That's going to be open from 8 to 8 starting tonight for people who have been affected by this, Amanda. All right, and so sad to hear from those families, and unfortunately, more of those stories could.